What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the proportions trick for Gary's mod. Before I continue, let me explain what the proportions trick is. The proportions trick is a way to bypass the Gary's mod standard animation size for player models and NPCs. So what do I mean by that? I mean that Gary's mod comes with a preset of animations that you can use for player models and it's only set for one size. So when you try to create a player model that may be short, tall, or wide, the animations are going to be fucked up. So if it's too wide, then its shoulders are going to show up inside its body. If it's too short, it's going to get fucking stretched out. All right, let's do this. So uh, let's make this. I'm going to try and do this quick and very clear because attention spans aren't great these days. And I know how it is. I have to sit through a bunch of garbage to get to the point. So you're going to already need your model. It's going to be a player model with bones rigged up and everything. Just need to, you know be able to function like you, you get, just have a fucking rigged up model with with valve biped bones if you don't know how to fucking do that you, you're on the wrong video so let's get to this i'm gonna go ahead and show you the links you're gonna need blender 2.9 specifically so go ahead and download that you're gonna need to go ahead and download the proportion trick script i'll have this in the description and source tools blender i'm gonna show you something real quick um, you're gonna need the one specifically for 2.9 and it's not very obvious that's going to be this one right here. See, not very obvious. I don't know why it's like that. You're going to want to click that one. There you go. All right. Now we've got that all in check. Once you download the proportion trick, extract it, and here's what we have. Open it up, and we're going to go ahead and click the main script and have it open up. This is what you're going to see. So now you're going to want to go ahead and import your NPC or your fucking model. Holy shit, I'm retarded. All right, it's going to be, I have mine right here. Oops, even I fucked up. This is very important. When you import it, you need to make sure it's a new armature. Otherwise, it will bind to the already existing reference. Here it is. Isn't it fucking beautiful? I know, I know. You're going to go ahead and select your skeleton and rename it to two lowercase g's. GG, like good game. And we're going to run the proportion trick. So mine's already clean because it's been done before, but you may get, you see how we got these green dots, these green bones, you may get gray ones. If that's the case, it's very simple to fix, I'm going to show you. Let's say that this one's a gray one and this one's a green one, which it doesn't make sense because it's a shoulder and a bicep. You're going to click the gray one, then click the green one, hit F3 and search and click copy constraints of bones and it's going to fly it over there. Let me undo that because we don't want that to happen. And you're going to do that to all the green ones or gray ones. If you have a extra finger, um, well that extra finger is not going to have any function. So I don't know what to tell you. If you have um, less than the normal amount of fingers, you're just going to bind those extra fingers to these bones. It's not going to be a big deal at all. And one last thing before we start the second part is we need to take a look at the foot bones. This toe bone needs to be aiming down. That's good. That's good. Great. Once you've done that, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to hit A to select all the bones, F3, and we're going to do apply pose as rest pose you can get this error do not worry about that that doesn't that isn't it's just how that works now we're going to do clear pose constraints just like that and now we're going to hit proportion trick two and we're going to run that congratulations guys that's it that's really all it is to this so all you got to do now is export it so you're gonna i'm gonna put it in our tutorial folder Engine path. If you don't know how to do this, you've clicked on the wrong video, you need to learn how to make a player model to begin with. Export the entire scene. There we go. Don't save it. Here we are. This has given us a new SMD file. This is the one you're going to use. And it's given us a few animations. Now, first thing we're going to do is my Geary is a male, so I'm going to delete the reference female. This right here is it's done for you. Thank God, right? It's a big headache if you don't have this script. Um, I, I had tried to go through it, didn't work out for me. Now we just have to create our QC file, which is a lot more complicated than what we just did if you have no knowledge. So first thing we do is we're gonna copy over the physics and the reference QC file. 
right here. Cool. Now let's go ahead and open up this QC file. I'm going to tell you what not to touch and what you can touch. Do not touch this or any of this. This is literally how the proportion tricks work. Now this is where we're going to go. We're not going to have a hitbox QCI file because we're going to allow Gary's Mod to automatically generate our hitbox. If you do have a hitbox QCI file or some kind of hitbox specification you want to make, by all means, keep it. For the collision model, um, I'm not going to teach you how to make a collision model, but I can't explain it. It's a very smooth down, basic geometry version of your file. Um, I'm literally just going to use my actual model pile. You can do that as long as it isn't too complicated. All right, and we're going to keep this physics file. This physics file can be reused. Um, you can obviously play with the joint constraints if it doesn't look good. Uh, I'll explain that in just half a second here. Basically, this tells Gary's Mod the limits of movement for each bone. So if you notice that the shoulder's all fucked up, like it's like seems too loose or something like that, you can always come in here and play around with these values right here. I doubt you're ever going to have to do that, though. And if you do, if the shoulder's fucked up, it's most likely more from weight painting than it is from joint constraints. So we're going to keep that, keep this, and it's we're going to delete... We're gonna we're gonna keep mine's a male, so we're gonna keep the male player model animations. There you go. And I don't have or I'm not planning to use this for NPC. If you're planning to use this for NPC later on down the line, you may as well just go ahead and keep these animations. So if it's male, keep these. If it's female, well, if there's not a female combine, so only keep female. I think there's not a female combine. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And also, if you want hands to show up on the gun when it's being used, you have to create like an entirely separate model file for it. And it doesn't have to be proportion tricked. Basically, to make it very simple for you, all you do is take your currently existing model and delete all of the mesh except the arms and hands. And keep the bones for those, of course. And uh, export it. That's it really it's actually that simple but I don't have one for this video so I'm gonna delete that okay so here is I'm gonna delete all these comments they're fucking annoying here is all the code that you're gonna need from this QC file now I'm gonna provide you once I'm done with this because I'm not gonna give four separate files and make you do all of this shit but there is a lot more you have to include in the QCI file besides just the proportion trick. And that's going to be telling the, um, telling, you know, the compiler what the model SMD path is, where the materials are for it, etc. So I'm going to pull that from a file I already have. So let's do that. And I'm going to give you this one file once I'm done with it all together. You can just copy it and basically rename everything. So this is what I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add it to the start of the QC file. All QC files require this. It just doesn't come with the QC provided because that's only strictly for the animations. All right. So model name is basically you're telling it what the name what the name of the file is going to be once you compile it. Body group. Mine's Geary. You can name it kind of whatever you want. This is specifying the SMD file we're going to be using, and that's Geary.SMD. That's our model file. And if we go down, if you really don't know how to do this part or what CD materials means, it's just telling the compiler where you plan on putting the VMT and VTF files of your player model. Um, yeah, if you don't know what that means, you need to you know read up on how to create a player model to begin with before you even do a proportion trick. Anyway, that's that's basically completed code right there. <coughs> So we're going to go ahead and save it, and we need to do one more thing before we have our finished file, and that is to generate a uh, defined bones QCI file. I'll show you how to do that. You need to get Crowbar. Look this up on the internet. I'm not going to provide a link to Crowbar. Um, just look up Crowbar, Gmod Crowbar Download. It's going to be very easy to find. Anyway, we're going to go over to the Compile tab. Also, we need to rename our QC to, Q, to make it actually a QC file. doesn't matter what the name of the QC file is, by the way. We're going to drag and drop that into here, and we're going to click Define Bones, Write QC File. 
define bones. There we go. Get rid of this compiled folder, there's nothing in it. Now we have a define bones QCI file. Now we now when we go into our already existing Q file, we're just gonna write a extra line of code. Just like that. Very simple stuff. Now I'm gonna give you a brief explanation on what this is. This just tells the Gary's Mod engine. You see it's got every single bone named where all the bones are located. It's not completely necessary. For some reason you can't figure out how to do it. But it's nice to have it. Trust me. It, it, it makes things a lot easier. It goes a long way. I accidentally closed crowbar. Oh, fuck. I accidentally closed crowbar. Holy shit. Okay. Now we're just going to go and compile. And I'll show you how to view and and test them all without having to actually go into Gary's mod. So we're going to throw it and we're going to uncheck to find bones and we're going to go ahead and compile it. We got lucky. No errors. If you have errors, put them in the chat GPT. I'm not, I'm literally not kidding. Chat GPT is fucking great. If you don't have access to that, just leave it in the comments. I'll figure it out for you. All right. Now we have our compiled file. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. We have it. Now we're going to click view. And this is how we can look at models without having to open Gary's mod all the time to check it out before we put it as a player model. Drag and drop it in there and click view. And we're going to get HLMV. Check that shit out. Its shoulders are in the right place. A little bit of a weight painting error right there. That's all mine. Alright, let's, let's see it do some stuff. Alright, here's its swimming crossbow animation. Looks, looks fucking great. <laughs> it looks so funny because it starts off as a T-pose. Don't worry, it won't look like that in game. Um, that looks good. Hmm. Let's see, what other animations do we want to look at? What the fuck is death? Oh, that's sick. Okay, that's death underscore one. That looks awesome, by the way. I didn't know that was a base animation. Oh, <laughs> that's the... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that neck. Fuck, I messed up that weight painting. Well, to be fair, Gary doesn't have a neck, so it's being forced to contort the player model. Okay, that's great, though. God, I love seeing that. Ah, okay. That's like a good punch animation. I should use that for my NPC. All right, there you go though. No, it, no, no issues. Isn't that great? So why don't I give you guys a sneak peek of what this looked like before we did the proportion trick? Because I can just do that. So I think this is the model I had before the proportion trick. Let's let's check it out. Let's see if we can. Oh, it has to be a model file. Oh, I'm not going to go through the work of actually compiling that. Never mind, guys. <laughs> but before, I'll tell you what I did. Basically, you see these shoulder balls? They were in here. Because this is the normal size of a player model, not out here. Anyway, there you go, guys. If you're wondering, by the way, one more thing. If you're wondering why in your model viewer that it's purple textures... That's because I've already made this model before, so I have the material files in my actual Gary's Mod game material files, because that's where it actually pulls from. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. Basically, if we go over to my Gary's Mod, if you do want your texture to show up, this is where you'd put it. Go to Gary's Mod, right, it'd be right here in materials, uh, under models. See, I already have... The, both the materials, or the, the one material, are reloaded into the game. So that's why. You don't have to do that. It is more visually pleasing. Anyway, that's actually it, you guys. Um, if you actually need, if you don't know what to do with these MDL files, I do recommend you look up how to create a player model, because maybe you really did just get your hands on a file that's rigged with bones, but it just fucked up, and maybe you just wanted to do this. But, um, yeah, that, that's really it. So I'm glad I can make this tutorial because 
there's only one other video on this, and it was not very clear. It took a lot of trial and error for me to finally figure it out. Alright guys, take it easy.